What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new WWE Elite figure set on the WWE Elite Series 16 Legend set, or the WWE Elite Legend Series 16 Target Exclusive Wave. As you guys can see here, hit up my Target this morning, and voila, all four of them right there on the pegs. I went earlier in the week. They only had the Rey Mysterio. I didn't buy the Rey Mysterio by itself. I actually waited. I waited like five days, actually. Come back. All three Rays are still there, and the rest of the wave was there. So I guess I, I may have missed some other stuff there some AEW and stuff like that, but here we are, man. Got the full wave. Excited for this set. You know, it's kind of sickening. I'm getting older, and now guys that I watched growing up are starting to trickle into the Legends line, which makes me want to vomit, but that's the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. Nonetheless, man, this set's pretty cool. We get our 800th Rey Mysterio just this year. The packaging was also just heavily destroyed on the Rey Mysterio for whatever reason. Like, it is beat to hell, but who gives a damn? We got Molly Holly. Very cool to go with our Hurricane figure. Very nice addition here. I can't wait to get this out. Got the double jointedness in there. They did not have the chase. This is the only Molly Holly they had. And then we finally get elites of the Acolytes. Been waiting on Acolyte elites. I know we've had Farouk and Bradshaw in other forms. We've had the APA. We have their singles versions and multiple iterations. But here we are with the Acolytes as a tag team. Very cool. Very excited for these. Look good on the side of the packaging. You guys know how the packaging is. It's the brown. It's the yellow. It's the WWE Legends. Bradshaw there. Side of Bradshaw. Bio reads on all the backs there hit up your targets man these are hitting so you definitely want to go grab these but what we're going to do is crack all four figures out of their packaging break it all down man i don't know if i'm gonna put them on the rotating base i may just have them all four lined up there but we're gonna break all these guys down break down their accessories and of course get into it but let's crack open legend series 16 and find out what we got here all right, guys, so here's the full wave out of the packaging. I'm going to be real with you. There is a lot about this wave that I didn't like. Not really. There's just one thing in particular, which I'm going to get into, and it just rears its ugly head here. I'm fine with the wave. I love that we got Molly Holly in the wave. Very excited to have Acolytes. I think there's some brilliant things about the set, and there's some things about the set that I don't like. I do that like that we got three championships here. Got some good characters here. First time in the line, we get some different looks of characters that we've seen previously. Rey Mysterio, I mean, swear to God, this is like the amazing amount of Rey Mysterios we've seen in 2022 alone is absurd, but I'm subscribed to it, I guess. Nonetheless, man, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to start off with Molly Holly, just show off her accessories and the figure itself and just kind of get into a couple comparisons. I'm not going to do segment by segment. I'm just going to get into these accessories. I love that we're getting a cloth cape just like the Hurricane. These are going to look great up next to each other, which I am going to showcase the Hurricane up next to this figure because we have to, but this is a great accessory. This really just brings it full circle. You also get two interchangeable heads sculpts which we'll look at in just a moment but you do get interchangeable fists which i don't think you guys really care about that because we've seen it so many times you also get mic holding hands so you get mic holding hands fisted hands interchangeable head and a cloth cape i feel like that's a pretty decent amount of accessories here's an interchangeable head sculpt i feel like it gets a bit messy on the eyes but the hairstyle is nice it feels like yesterday i was watching her on television so to see this head sculpt is kind of insane and then you do have the headband head sculpt right here that looks pretty good it's got the hair down i think the likeness is better on this one or it's just not as messy so so it looks better, I think. But I, th I like the head sculpts. I think that the hair looks good. The hair color's good. I, I like these. The Mighty Molly looks pretty good right there. And then as far as the cape is concerned, you do have the M on the back there with the Hurricane sort of logo surrounding it in pink and black. Very Power Ranger looking. And you also get the, the same decal on the front right there. But I like this figure a lot, man. I like the pink tones. I love the double jointed arms. The silver looks really good. The belly button is sculpted on there but not a huge deal i mean it's pretty flat right like you do get a little bit of sculpt here as far as the top is like it's not just painted on so that gives you a little bit of depth there double jointed arms look good i like the pink gauntlets a lot of paint detail but not really sculpted detail besides the top of the top there and then the bottom of the cuffs of the pants we've seen these pants before but they are pinless and honestly my double jointed knee was a little stuck so i was kind of worried that it would be real loose and floppy but nah, this one's a little bit floppy this one's not as bad but the feet are kind of iffy like she'll lean forward on her face but the molly holly's dope i want to see what hurricane looks like up next to it so up next to hurricane this gets the job done for me but i'm pretty sure hurricane didn't look like this when she was running around with him i could i'm pretty sure he had the short haircut so you could put the elite 75 figure up next to it is what this figure is supposed to go with not the legends hurricane so in that instance this would be more accurate i do believe nonetheless you do get to I'm, I'm just shocked we have two hurricanes this looks badass and then mighty molly fits perfectly 
comfortably in there, so I like it, man. I, I think the Mighty Miley was a great addition for it. I was hyped for it, and I think the figure's solid. Now, as far as Rey Mysterio is concerned, this is a great-looking figure. I love this accessory. Now, I'm probably gonna want to pop the hands out before you take this coat off. This jacket is very impressive, man. It feels really good in the hand. It's got kind of a slick feel to it. You do get the mask emblem on the back right there. It's got like an iridescent silver look to it, and it has the hood on there. Very good accessory. Love this. I mean, you could put this on a, a different, you know, amount of characters. You could throw it on other Rey Mysterios if you want to, but this is a great accessory. I love this. This is what makes collecting fun right here, and uh, the iridescent is very nice on it. Very clean accessory. One of the best accessories we've probably seen all year long when it comes to the cloth goods, so this is very nice. I love that to death. We also get a World Heavyweight Championship. It is the dull version. Don't know why they gave us the dull version instead, but it doesn't really have a lot of paint detail on it. You got the World Heavyweight Champion there, and we've seen it a hundred times, but it is the dull version instead of the shiny gold. If you want a comparison to the shiny gold, here you go with the World Tag Title, but it is a dull finish, not the shiny, nice, bright finish, and it does not have the red jewels on the championship. Outside of the two good accessories, you get the black gloved hands we've seen ten hundred times, and you have the black wide open gloved grippy hands of the, you know, Friday Night Smackdown intro, Rey Mysterio reaching out grabby hands that we've seen about 700 times as well, but more black gloves, man. Give it, If you're going to give us Rey Mysterios, give us new gears with different colored gloves. How about that? As far as Rey Mysterio's figure is concerned, he doesn't have near the tattoos that he does nowadays, but it is cool because at this moment in time, he was rocking the EGs. On his bicep band, you got the EG for Eddie Guerrero there and on this side, but the torso looks good. You guys know how Rey Mysterio figures are, man. They got a lot of deco. They got a lot of good stuff going on. You get the elbow pads with the Rey Mysterio mask, the 619 over here. Black gloves, black, red, and white gear. This is his ECW One Night Stand gear. Black on the back and then black all the way down to the kick pads. You do have the question marks. You get the white in there mixed in. Don't like the head sculpt they chose, but we've seen it so many times before. Black, red, and white mask. And then it does have the ECW logo on the back, which I think is awesome. But you guys know how the Rey Mysterio figures are. They feel really, really good in hand. If you guys have never owned one, go get this one. I mean, it feels really, really good. But you know how he's very posable. He feels really fluent in the hand. I mean, there's really no other way to put it. But really good Rey Mysterio action figure right here. And it's gonna it's gonna accomplish all the things you need for Rey Mysterio. Kind of a unique look for him, you know, not you know just your standard Ray, but I like it. I you know it adds to the abundance of rays we've seen this year. So the last two in the set are obviously the acolytes in Farouk and Bradshaw. Now they are a tag team. Usually as a tag team, we review their accessories together, and this time it'll be easy because with each member you get a world tag title, which is beautiful. These are great championships. I know a lot of people are missing these in their collections, so you can grab these and add them. This makes my like 80th pair, but I'm always glad to have another pair. Really bright. They look good. You know, maybe the tone's a bit too yellow, honestly, for some people. Probably needs a bit lighter gold or maybe some silver plate because I think they were dual plated with silver and gold, but you do get the tag championships. And then with Bradshaw, you get Mike holding hands and you get fisted hands. And then Farouk, you get fisted hands and Mike holding hands, but you get black, you know, finger tape on there. So you get the exact same accessories for both. And the figures are pretty much the same. They have the same tights and stuff, but we'll go through the differences. Now, this head skull for Bradshaw is really good. The only thing I hate about the figure is the formula they chose. Why did they do this? They did this to the Elite 23 JBL, which is probably why they used this torso. This torso sucks for him, man. This man was jacked as hell. His torso was massive, all right? Now, I'm not talking about giving the damn Kane or, or Braun Strowman torso, but the Stone Cold torso would have fit this guy perfectly, I think. Stone Cold torso, arms could have worked. I mean, you could have used maybe the fat ones, like maybe the, or the fatter ones, maybe like Kevin Owens or, or Brody Lee slash Luke Harper arms double jointed or something but you do have the symbols on the chest you get the black bicep bands elbow pad black wrist tape I just hate the formula but this head sculpt's really good man looks just like him I think it just looks big on this Degum torso because he's so freaking skinny for some reason you get your maroon silver and black you got all your weird symbolism going on you know the you got the ministry on there black boots pretty sure this is the exact formula as his elite 23 JBL figure that just replaced the shoulders and arms but I I still like the figure. I, I do like the figure. It's just God in heaven. I think a different torso would have done wonders. And then we have arguably my favorite figure in the set, which we are going to rank this set at the end of this video. We have Farouk. Great looking head sculpt. Holy hell. What a great head, man. I, I like this. Looks just like him. I like this for Farouk because he was ginormous. Okay? He was big. He was jacked. This looks good. Could you have gotten away with the Bobby Lashley torso? Maybe. Could you have done the rock torso? Like the throwback rock torso? Probably so. But the black bicep bands. You got the black wrist tape. I like this. The shoulders look good and muscular. Then you have the same tights, just on different legs. He's got tall black boots instead of the shorter ones, and he is not on ball joints because he never is, but he is. Except for that one figure in jeans. That one figure in jeans, the APA Farouk, that one was on ball joints, but that was because it 
probably used a jean mold instead but these guys look really good up next to each other i think they're gonna fit into your displays really nicely let me see if i can find their apa figures real quick and then we'll come back and take a look at both of them up next to each other all right guys so here is the elite 38 apa i got the sleeved version as you guys can see and it's kind of mind-blowing i honestly think that uh i don't know i i honestly feel like if you get the sleeveless version you can get some gloved hands and put the like you know paint the neck and like update the figures i think that would be pretty dope but this is clearly this head just with true effects and different skin tone it looks like and then these i think this figure would look great over here and i mean i guess this head could go over here if you really wanted to but i think this head over here would look dope but yeah it's kind of cool to see these up next to each other as far as the elite 38 comparison here but i definitely like i don't know i like the apa better like this but i still think these are probably superior figures and uh maybe we'll get an updated version of these one day but i don't know the apa is still pretty cool i don't know anyways yeah that wraps up our comparisons between these two kind of cool and you guys can see the updated in the skin tone i think that this one's more accurate it looks a lot more natural maybe the head sculpts aren't the same i don't know i can't tell anyway anyways man before we wrap up this video let's get into our ranking of the set you know i don't have the chase variant here but it probably wouldn't change much as far as the molly holly or mighty molly is concerned i don't think it's gonna you know it's not gonna change anything for me but ranking this set i think that oh this is tough i think Jesus, this is actually kind of tough. I think what I want to do is I, th I think I want to go right here. Like, I, I think Mighty Molly 4, Bradshaw 3, Rey Mysterio 2, Farouk 1. These two could switch, though, depending on the, the way I feel. But I think the Farouk's my favorite figure, man. And I, I love the Degum Rey Mysterio, and I love the thing. But this Farouk is nasty. Just, I think it really captures him really, really well. You get a lot of new stuff going on. I don't know. I, I just like the Farouk more than the Rey Mysterio. But the Rey Mysterio is still damn good. I love the, the new accessory jacket entrance coat thing but these two could probably interchange i hate the body they used here but this one kind of feels light but this head sculpt's really damn good but they did include cloth goods right here i mean it's honestly a toss-up right here between the two the formula really makes me want to move this ahead of this but i don't know i think i'm gonna keep it here for now but before we get out of here man let's get into our random shout out this shout out's gonna go to s barnett who says i tell you target is the best place to find and buy wrestling figures right now because besides of course ringside collectibles and amazon and i probably agree with you man my walmart's always dry as hell target be constantly hitting so if you guys want to find figures, Target's the way to go. I know sometimes it doesn't hit, but it's you're going to hit way more often at Target, I think, over Walmart, man. Walmart's just too inconsistent. I just think that you're dealing with a lot more cans of worms. I feel like Walmart workers aren't nearly as open to help you if you need something. I think Target workers would easily check the back. I think this is a W comment right here, so that is it for me for that comment, man. Huge shout out to S. Barnett for the comment, but I'm getting out of here, man. Leave me your thoughts on Legends Series 16 down below. Honestly, unbelievable. We're 16 series into the Legends set alone, but I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you next time. You cross the line. I've been